Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Janine. This is uh, part number three of my three different ways I like to do spikes for my bows. And it really all depends on what look I'm going for. Um, so this one is my bling one and I leave them flat. And for this one, I'm using seven pieces cut to four inches long. And I'm going to be using my little pin deal here. So I'm just going to go ahead and start folding them in half and popping them over my pin. So this one goes directly across. And then the next one is going to go <clears throat> this way. I'm going to overlap them just slightly. <clears throat> Not a whole lot. Just slightly. And that's just for this first one. And then the next one's around. I'm going to try to center my ribbon. So it's going to be kind of like this to where this point is just about where the middle of the ribbon is. I'm just putting them on, trying to get them right there about the center. So that looks about right. It's about how I want it. So I'm going to need my salon clip. I'm going to pick it up by the pin. I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to grab all my layers together, holding them tightly, pull that off. Then I'm going to slip my clip right over. Then once again, I'm going to fold it over, make sure everything's even here. It's just something I like to do to make sure it all lines up. And then I'm just going to start stitching. And you guys have heard me say it many times before in my other videos. But if you go in from the top, your last one needs to go in from the top as well. So, did all that. And I pretty much just go up and down a few times. I'm going to snip this extra long piece here. But now that it's all secure, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to give this a nice good tug. Wrap around a couple of times. Pull it nice and tight. Wrap around one more time. Give it a nice, good, tight pull. I want my center nice and tight. And tie it off. And there's that. And now I'm just going to grab my pieces here. Just like this. So my hands like this. And just give it a little tug and a wiggle. And that's how I get them to flatten and even out. I might tug this way a little bit and then go this way again. Because I just want them to all flatten out. And I've got them relatively even. Just, just about what I want. So now I'm going to add my bling. Now, I have noticed that some of the bling depending on where you get it and which ones you're using it might be a little bit off me I'm using this one that I get at Walmart and so this here how I figure this out is actually this going this they're actually going this direction so up and down. And for my 7 8 inch ribbon, it's five of these is what I cut. And then, so it gives me this. 
And then I just clean up around the edges, clean all the spiky stuff that comes off. And then this, um, I will leave a link to my Facebook page in the description below. And I do have a very short video on the page itself up at the top that shows how I add these little 3 millimeter pearls. Like this one is without the pearls. It's just the bling, but it's still the same. It's the 5. And this one I added pearls to. So... All I do is I have my detail gun, and I just run a small bead across the top. And I set that on, and as you can see, it just fits perfectly on there. And then I just go around in a circle. Now I know, because I use seven strips of ribbon, that I needed 14 of these little bling pieces cut and you can do it however you want this is just what I like and I really like this one with the pearl and I try to change it up some I do a lot of craft shows and I do not like to do multiples of the same thing over and over again I tried to keep most of what I make a one-of-a-kind bow so everything has a slightly different variation for me and that's just me so So just go around, and then I just finish the blank. So I'm just going to go around and finish it. And just show you how quick it goes. Now I do do the bead part ahead of time. Like I'll do a bunch of them ahead of time just so I have them already made. And then when I decide on what bow I want to make, then I count out my pieces of blank. So I'm just going around in a circle, then line, and then I add a piece. We're almost done. Just going around, two more left to do, and you can see the finished result. I really do like this bling with the pearls. It is so pretty. And the finished bow with them is even better. I'll show you one of those here. So there's that. All my bling done. And it looks so pretty with that on there. And then here is a finished bow. And it just makes it look so nice. I like them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to give me the thumbs up and subscribe. And like I said, I will put a link to my Facebook page down in the description. <clears throat> and... So you can connect and all that other stuff. And please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And you guys, happy crafting!